Same Baylor donors have new demands for the university's Board of Regents. They want answers about what is happening behind closed doors in the school's sex assault scandal. Our Dan Haggerty is in Dallas where the donors listed their demands today. It's a group that got Baylor's attention. Attorney John Eddie Williams, former Texas Governor Mark White, and former Regents board member Randy Ferguson. Because of their lack of transparency, we have to do this. They want to know how much the school has spent so far on the sex assault crisis, including settlements with victims and hiring law firm Pepper Hamilton to conduct an investigation. They met with members of the Board of Regents for the first time to demand a third party investigation that would include an examination of the board itself. If they have nothing to hide, then they should embrace an investigation which will document that they've done the right thing. I took note of that, of course, just like all of their other suggestions, and we're going to take that back to the Board of Regents and consider it very seriously. Jerry Clements is one of three board members who met with the group for more than two hours Monday, but said nothing new about the investigation. Williams criticizing them for putting their interests ahead of the Baylor communities. I heard the phrase used this morning that uh, somehow the Regents have signed an oath of secrecy. Um, John Eddie Williams is one of the best trial lawyers in the state, so his, he's always going to be colorful. And he's a wealthy donor, recently making headlines for paying for the field in Baylor's new stadium that will be named after him. Well, that was Dan Haggerty reporting. Williams said several large donors told him they will withhold donations as well, though he wouldn't tell Dan who they are.